So welcome to a very special show, an India-Pakistan encounter in any sport is a huge, huge encounter, particularly in hockey. So in a short while, India and Pakistan will take on each other in Chennai at the ACT. I have a super panel of people and experts who have a point of view. So without wasting any time, let me first go on uh, to uh, Harinder Singh, my old friend and a very celebrated coach of India. Harinder Ji, you are very good. treat kar all good? या तो यहां पे काफी आ, मैं जैसे पहले बताया था यहां पे काफी चैलेंजेस हैं लेकिन वी एंजॉय कोचेस का काम ही है जो चैलेंजेस हैं उसको एंजॉय कीजिए एक डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस आई थिंक वी आर इंप्रूविंग डे बाय डे द द प्लेयर्स आर डूइंग गुड सो आई थिंक आई एम एंजॉयिंग सो फार सो हरिंदर लेट मी बिगिन बाय पुटिंग यू अ लिटिल बिट ऑन द स्पॉट बिफोर वी गो मोर एंड मोर इनटू द टीम कंपोजिशन द स्ट्रेटजी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज Uh, we would like your uh, prediction on the score line of the match and india versus pakistan encounter in chennai uh, who do you think will win and okay. the predicted score line uh, for me i think that uh, if you go by by the history of the chennai stadium and the performance i think that india is not going to score less than five goals today so we think i am a very candid and reason we have behind that i am uh, saying that uh, when i saw the team when the seed trade and uh, even that tahir was coaching there is a lot of structure this team has a highly talented team pakistani team no doubt about that when i saw the uh, our coach seed uh, trade was coaching in the nation cup the team has really improved and i was looking for the good challenge in asian game and ssp but i think right now they are individually very good team but if you structurally if you ask me there's a lot of work to do and that that the way the indian team has playing in the last 2 3 years i can say they started from the foundation in 2010 indian okay. team day by day is improving so uh, india will score five goals you are saying and uh, how many do you give to pakistan a uh, kind of defense i have the kind of uh, uh, manpreet has uh, switched the role I don't give any single. Uh, I think that uh, 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 room for the Pakistan right now. I, I'm I'm not emotional. I'm I'm talking about the strategical point of view. Yes, they have the, some some uh, highly talented striker. They can sleep. If Umar Bhutta will play some attacking hockey, they can score a couple of goals. But I think he's uh, uh, switched his role. He knows the depth of the team and he switched the role. So I have some doubt about. It. Okay, Harinder, I'll come back to you. So, Harinder's prediction is nil uh, in India. Siggy Eichmann, I'm coming to you now. You have coached Pakistan for uh, over a year, and you have been explaining what the Pakistan is talking about. What is your prediction of the possible score? Well, it's a difficult <laughs> question to ask me now in this position because I'm the former coach, but I think. that we have a talented team who was on track at the nation cup we were growing the players understood the structure as herinda said i think that the structure is a little bit lost they made changes and uh, for the players it's a bit confusing so i think that it's difficult uh, to continue the growth but the talent is there and based on talent uh, teams can uh, surprise especially an india pakistan game is never to predict whatever happens maybe it will happen give, today give me a prediction And please come on what give me a prediction think, please yes, i think that i think that uh, india will win and i think okay. india win, will win with three or four goals difference okay. and uh, that i mean difference so i think i think pakistan will score they will always score one goal they have uh, talented attackers who okay. are creative who can surprise but at the end uh, india is quite it's far ahead on pakistan at the moment okay let me go over to sandeep mishra and an ice sports editor and mr rocky as far as hockey is concerned among the media uh, sandeep you are in chennai and sweating away i believe you've had about 7 to 8 baths through the day now <laughs> Yeah. No, if you if you really ask me about the prediction, I I just I just go back to two matches: uh, the draw with Japan and the last quarter against Korea. I think it just comes down to uh, probably boils down to composure. It also boils down to as we have basically been discussing the structure. I think if they all fall into that structure, I think if they maintain it through the four quarters, 
despite Pakistan going up, despite Pakistan attacking, I would go with Harinder saying that yes, it's going to be difficult for them to have goals. But I think if I look at Umar and I see the way he is rotating the ball, the way he is planning the midfield, I still feel the score lines are going to be 5-1 or 6-1. I don't see this as a very close, close match. It's a very difficult for me to say it's going to be close. I think it's still going to be a 4-5 goal margin there. We had sound bites coming from Rehan Bhatt and also from uh, their head coach, Mohamed Saklen, uh, before uh, the match. And they basically said that the pressure will be on India, number one. Two, we are talented, but we are very young. How do you analyze these two comments? Will the pressure really be on India? Uh, yes, uh, it, it's a matter of the starting the game, actually, how you started. The Once you started, the player never think about what the uh, going on outside the pitch. I do agree, but I, I think that the kind of experience that India has, and especially playing in the home ground, they play the two World Cup, major tournament in India, so they know the, how to deal with the uh, uh, home pitch. I agree with the Rehan, but I think that uh, uh, the same y young talented team was very much structured when the Sigi was the coaching the Pakistan team. I am looking, it's a, a young team, but there is no structure. I think they forget the structure what the Sigi tried to build up in Asian game. It's totally missing. I think that so one of the, it's my opinion, sitting in the 24,000 away from India, they, they did the mistakes not keeping the Sigi in as a coach in Asian game. The other things, yes, the 14 players has playing the first time against the Indian. So how can you say that pressure is on India? The pressure is the players who first time taking the Indian team, and that also the home ground. So there is a lot of I think the uh, ambiguity in the mind of the players, the especially Pakistani team, young talent team. If you see the kind of goals they are missing, every match they are missing three, four goals, open goal. So that's called the experience, and that experience is not there. So I totally don't agree with that. Indian team is far, far ahead of the Pakistani team current team. Let's accept it that. Harinder, ये भी रेहान बट ने ये भी अपने sound bite में कहा कि जहाँ तक पूरे इंडिया और पाकिस्तान के matches के बारे में अगर बात की जाए तो हम कभी mentally prepared नहीं हो सकते क्योंकि वो तो on field जो निकलता है निकलता है इससे आप वाकिफ हैं आप अग्री करते हैं इस line of thinking से नहीं इससे नहीं वाकिफ करता 2009 में मार्डे प्लाटा champion challenge में मैं और जब होजे ब हमने वो लास्ट मेजर टूर्नामेंट इनसे हारा था एक मैच टू वन से अगेंस्ट पाकिस्तान और उस दिन हम लोगों ने डिसाइड किया कि हम अब इमोशनल नहीं खेलेंगे हम अपनी स्ट्रेटजी पे कायम रहेंगे और जो हमारा स्ट्रेंथ है हम उस पर खेलेंगे अगर आप देखिए 2009 के बाद इंडिया पाकिस्तान के जितने क्लैसेज हुए क्रुशियल मैच में कहता हूँ ये क्रुशियल मैच नहीं है इंडिया क्वालिफाई ऑलरेडी सेमीफाइनल में है मैं क्रुशियल इंडिया ने पाकिस्तान से कभी नहीं हारा मेजर टूर्नामेंट में कभी नहीं हारा ये क्या दर्शाता है कि हम अब इमोशन को छोड़ चुके हैं इंडिया पाकिस्तान हम अब यूरोपियन से बीट कर रहे हैं हॉलैंड से जर्मनी से ऑस्ट्रेलिया से इंग्लैंड से इनसे हम बीट कर रहे हैं अब हम एशियन कंट्री में लेट्स एक्सेप्टेड इंडिया इज फार अहेड ऑफ द अदर कंट्री यस सरप्राइज इसी स्पोर्ट्स किसी भी स्पोर्ट्स में होता है बांग्लादेश ने भी पाकिस्तान को क्रिकेट में हराया है अफगानिस्तान ने भी इंडिया को हराया तो दैट्स ए समाइम्स इज हैपन इन दन से मून यू के नॉट प्रोडिक्ट ये टीम चैलेंज है तो इंडिया इज फार बेटर एंड इंडिया हैज मूव आउट फ्रॉम द प्लेइंग इन हॉकी स्पेशली इमोशनल गेम दैट्स ओनली फॉर द इंडियन पब्लिक पाकिस्तानी पब्लिक एंड द मीडिया नथिंग फॉर द हॉकी प्लेयर्स नाउ दिस ओके सिगी कमिंग टू यू वेयर दिस करंट पाकिस्तान टीम इज कंसर्नड एंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द पाकिस्तान टीम व्हिच इज बेसिकली देयर आर टू प्रोमिनेंट कोचेस एंड बोथ ऑफ देम हैव प्लेड फॉर पाकिस्तान एंड हैव अ प्रीटी साउंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द गेम is uh, and when they talk about a young side, how long uh, do you think it will take for them to emerge as a major subcontinent power and also your viewpoint on the team composition for this match okay i think that uh, the talents need uh, time i think uh, a few years to grow as a group and to get step by step to the aim the thing the problem is that uh, in this stage you should not expect these kinds of results for them that they can challenge India. That's not fair. But this team, I agree with Harinder, they lack experience. They've never played on this level. So we, they played in uh, Nation Cup that was against the European team, but low, 
low standard European teams and it was already difficult. And uh, so I think that uh, India uh, has a huge, huge uh, advantage on this team. But on the other hand, talent grow quickly. And the, uh, when are you a talent? When you adapt fast. And these players are adapting fast. They have the potential. But in now modern hockey, you cannot do without structure. If I'm not mistaken, they play uh, the old-fashioned system again. The old structure and they also started to play the not only in the structure but also with the same attention that means okay create your uh, you create one of ones and uh, that makes that it's very predictable and uh, as you said that they missed many goal scoring options yes they did but that was because of the way they play the players are not at the last stage of the match, they are tired. They are they, they cannot bring it anymore. So it looks like a chance, but it's not even a chance. The balls are, the passing is not secure, and that's logical because the guys work very very hard. And I think the Pakistan players they have a great heart. They have a lot of passion, and they give everything in the matches, every match again. But it's undoable, and uh, modern hockey doesn't allow this. So I okay. think that it will take years for them to come back on this level, on the required level. Right. Sandeep, I'll uh, toss over to you. I know uh, you're having a tough time outside the stadium. There is uh, not only the heat and humidity, but the connectivity issues. So your views on, uh, on the new coach uh, and the team composition of India. If you uh, want to talk directly to Amanda and Sigur profile and take a vaccine. Can you uh, can you just repeat that again? There's just too much sound and noise all over here. I I just said I would like uh, an overview from you on the Indian team and the new coach, and then if you want to have a chat with. I actually can't hear you now. Can you hear me, Sandeep? Can you hear me? It's a bit difficult yeah. to get through. Can you Come on. Well, we'll we'll try and come back to Sandeep in a while. Yeah, um, I, I. Yeah, I can. Yeah. I. Okay. Yeah, just I can us, hear you. Okay, give us an overview. I'm just, uh, the Pakistan team has just arrived. I think just a couple of minutes back, they've just entered the stadium because the second match is still on, but. You know, when you ask for an overview, I, I'm... Yes, go ahead. Sandeep, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I mean, I was... I was uh, the point I was making on the overview part was that that since Craig has come in, there has been, of course, there's a lot of positivity that goes across with the Indian team. You've got a new coach. The 2018 World Cup and the 2023 World Cups haven't really gone to plan. But I think with the new coach, there has been an emphasis on defense. A lot of emphasis on a lot of emphasis which has gone on to the defense. Yes, your midfield is. Yeah. Lost the signal, I think. Uh, there's him. He, he has massive problems in Chennai. Arindar, coming to you, uh, what is your assessment of the new coach, Craig Fulton, number one? And second is, uh, there has been some uh, chatter and um, a little bit of criticism about the fact that he's making India play, going for a more defensive strategy. Now, as an expert, what is your personal viewpoint on the new coach and the way he's going about it? I think the first of uh, let's uh, accept it. Uh, we Indian and Pakistani always look for the instant coffee. We don't believe in the process. The problem is that. So if you see that, I, I'll take uh, one, uh, 30 seconds to explain. The, when the Sigi took the Pakistani team, I'm Please. a big fan of Pakistani skill and Pakistani passion for that because that gives the world hockey needs the Pakistan hockey. Let's accept it. And he really put the structure. 
now the structure has gone haywire the players are the same and the coaches are inexperienced if you talk about the Craig Fulton he has to bring the uh, he worked for the island team he has a successful leg then he joined the uh, belgian team which is one of the assistant coach and i think he'll try to process make the process and that uh, something his time attacking team win the matches defense win the championship what do you want you want to win the championship you want to win the match let's you decide so i think his experiment and he exp uh, experiment with, uh, of this kind of tournaments is always helps the players and the coaches what kind of hockey suits for me and i think he's in the right direction to experiment for the defense you have to tie the defense in the 2018 i was the world cup coach maximum uh, circle penetration shots on the goal but still we lost to one against holland uh, in quarter final doesn't give the result which we wanted but if we, that's the same time if we tie the defense you might win that this matches and the this thing where we want to occur. i i totally support craig fulton the way he's trying to uh, implement few things and he's trying to figure out and then go for the asian game the full uh, idea and then follow by the uh, olympic so we must give his time and i think the what he want to experiment he needs the time to experiment and the player has to understand outside the public they are the big fan of indian hockey i only request them have the patience the result will come fall in the future okay sandeep i'll try and come back to you again if you can hear me uh, just go ahead yeah no i can i mean you were asking about the overview and i think i do second what harinder has been saying i think i think we need patience with the coaches you know irrespective of who they are and now since you already have craig of course there's this whole sound and fury about you know how india might just become a defensive side i don't think so i do believe that unless your defenses are sorted out you can keep attacking you can keep getting the goals but you still will not be able to win those big ones and when i say a big one my my immediately goes back to and i don't know if arinder will agree to on this particular point but it goes back to the quarter final in 2018 it goes back to the 2-0 2-3 crossover match that we played i think defensive lapses have cost us important tournaments they have cost us important matches and overall when you look at the last 10 years yeah we, we did less i think that's the that's that's a kind of an overview i look at over the last one decade of indian hockey okay we are now joined by uh, tahir zaman and uh, a very warm welcome to you uh, tahir he is uh, for our viewers he is a celebrated coach of pakistan a star player of his time and he has experience uh, and seen a lot of india pakistan clashes tahir first of all what is your initial reaction uh, about today's match you can hear me zero Okay. I'll come back to Tahir in a while. Uh, connectivity seems to be an issue today. Uh, when we talk about uh, an India-Pakistan encounter of such a, at such a degree, uh, there is there is also a lot of chatter coming in today from uh, the federation officials that they want to make these India-Pakistan matches. Uh, they want to be uh, these uh, encounters to be held on a regular basis, which is obviously good news. So, how much will that help in raising the standards of hockey in the subcontinent? What are your thoughts? I think it will help a lot because India and Pakistan, if you like it or not, they are the the hockey greats in especially in this continent. Everybody tries to play the hockey from India and Pakistan, and if you look at how it, what it most look at the stands when the teams play, play it's sold out. everybody many people look at home everybody wants to be involved people from all over the world tune in to see the match so it will be it ha will have a huge impact to sell the hockey product and because it's also always an attacking game so we come it's a bit strange to say so but the the attacking game both team play makes it also so interesting there's always something happen uh i think that uh that should change and what india is doing now trying to play from a good structure and uh they want to defend to attack i think it will help the continent to grow the hockey to the next level because until now it's a hit and run 
And if we can go more and more to a uh, better structure, better defense, and uh, with the skills, the, the speed, the agility, the, the talent which there is in these countries, they must be able to, uh, on the not, not so long term, to make a big step. And that would help in this continent a lot. That's my strong belief. Okay, let me uh, go over to Tahir Zaman one more time. Uh, Tahir Sahib, are you listening to me or not? Yes, uh, I can hear you this time. Sorry for the inconvenience. My net is not uh, probably uh, working properly. Not a problem. As long as uh, you can hear me, that's great. So, uh, first of all, there are two things uh, we would uh, like to ask you. The first thing is that in today's uh, match, uh, already uh, Rayan Bhatt has made this comment that uh, it is a very young side, but the pressure will be on India. So, what is your reaction on that? And what do you think will be the estimated scoreline between India and Pakistan? Okay. Uh, I think uh, uh, what I have uh, heard you uh, clearly, that is you are uh, mentioning that Rehman, but has said something about that they got young side. I agree with that. I think the major difference is the international matches exposure between India and Pakistan. And uh, ultimately, uh, we, if we go back and see the results of the other matches, previous matches like India and Japan, India and Korea, they were close. And Pakistan result against Japan and Korea, they were also close. And to be honest, uh, the game always between Pakistan and India, who, who knows better than Harinder and myself, and even Siegfried Ekman, who has been coaching Pakistan team, it is usually a game of nerves, I would say. Who will have more strong control on their nerves, they will have the better chance to win this game. And I would say the more pressure will be on Indian side, to be honest, from psychological perspective. They are playing in home ground, home crowd. They are quite uh, experienced side. So Pakistan, as they are quite young side, they don't have uh, much experience. Uh, but I am sure that they will go all out to win this game today. Uh, to be honest, uh, it is a, when I said it is a game of nerves, and uh, we need to see how the young side of Pakistan they can uh, control their uh, emotions and play, being able to play some discipline hockey. That is what the most important is for Pakistan, I would say. Uh, I mean, if we if we look on uh, paper strength, there is no comparison, to be honest. And uh, I can see the Pakistan team, uh, they can do anything. They are unpredictable and the way they have been, the youngsters, they are enjoying their games. I would say they should play uh, their best and it could be anybody's game. Uh, I would say Pakistan is going to win and it is going to be a, a big upset of the tournament. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> smile, you? But still, still, I believe that way. Oh, right. Uh, uh, Arubji, if uh, I, I can vouch for that, if uh, Tahir and Siegfried is that this Jugal Bandi will be the Pakistan, uh, Pakistan team, I can vouch, yes, there is a surprise element. But the current uh, team, uh, let's accept it. Now the Tahir Bhai again come in the emotional part, which I already touched that things. <laughs> uh, of course, if, uh, every country and our job is to, we are patriotic, we support our team. But uh, uh, sport doesn't work in that line. I think that the Indian team is far, far better than the Pakistani team, current team. Indian, uh, Pakistani team is highly talented, but if they will play... With the, this Jugal Bandi, Tahir and Siegfried, I can say this team is a highly talented that can challenge any team if you give them the three years. That, that's my Harry, Right now, Harry, I don't think there are any challenge for these two teams. We, we, we agree with you. No comparison on the paper. Indian team is far from better. But I tell you, the first, I, I think the first, first quarter is going to be very critical because the home ground, home crowd pressure. Uh, that is the time, I mean, during the first quarter, I am expecting that Pakistan will be able to take a lead in first quarter, then match is going to be a completely change. The first quarter is very, very important. Would you like to react to that about the importance of the fourth quarter, as Tahir is saying? Uh, I, well, the, as much as I would like to see Pakistan win, 
because it would be a major upset and it would be good for hockey too because it will give Pakistan uh, a lot of wings that they would fly high and uh, the support for the team would be fantastic. So, yes, if if my the dream outcome should be that, but the reality is different. So I think it's wishful thinking. And if I look at the performance from Pakistan in this tournament, they struggled a lot with goal scoring, with keeping their defense in order. They made many mistakes in the back four, and uh, they escaped with it. I think that India team is more experienced, and I don't believe in the uh, home pressure in a tournament like this. And looking at how Greg Fulton is doing with the team, looking how they did the last the results were good. After they had the setback against Japan, they improved a lot. And the score against Malaysia was a very good score. So if you look at it, they, uh, I think that they, they show actually maturity. And that's what is important in matches like this. Uh, okay. And what is also important, this is not the final stage. I know that India in uh, group matches, they go all out. If it's final, then I would agree a little more with uh, Tahir because I think that then the pressure would be there because uh, if they lose then, it has direct consequences. Now there are no consequences, only egos which will be hurt. So I don't think that that will be a big issue. Okay. Tahir Zama, uh, there was a time uh, in Pakistan when you had the celebrated uh, Dutch coach uh, Hans Joritsma. Oh, with the Pakistan team. But then after that, uh, that whole plan was jettisoned. It was put aside while India uh, experimented with, with coach Brasa and they stuck to the point of having an overseas coach as the head coach and with the support staff from India. Do you feel that Pakistan did something wrong there with, with after Hans Joritsma left? Uh, well, to be honest, I think... Uh, Back in 1994, when we were having Hans Joritsma, uh, there was a different kind of the arrangements uh, working with the Hans Joritsma. With all due respect, he contributed a lot. There is no doubt about that. Uh, as we were having uh, our team manager and head coach, Hans was usually uh, more focused on our training prospective to, to develop the player's uh, uh, competence level. He was more focused on those areas. He was not overall handling the team. He was not sitting on the bench as well. So uh, on the bench, uh, we had our local management to deal with the team. I think that combination was somehow the other with very good understanding of Hans Joritsma. We were able to work out. And uh, after the winning the World Cup, it would have been nice to uh, keep continuing that way, uh, having some experts who they can come to Pakistan and they can uh, educate and train the coaches and same time with the players. And that would have been also learning uh, uh, atmosphere or learning uh, opportunities for the local coaches as well. But we have been trying uh, things differently afterwards and uh, there was no consistency uh, with any kind of process. And I think that is, that is why we were not able to produce the better results after 1994. And uh, to be honest, having experts, it is a good thing, but you need to see uh, how we can define their role, which can be uh, uh, effectively uh, contribute uh, in the development of the team overall, actually. That is what we need to see. And I think if we talk about India, only one thing which I have to mention is uh, it is the consistency of the process. That is why India is able to produce some results. They continue the same way, even there was different. I mean, they have tried every world best coach in their country, but they continue the same way. Um, to be honest, uh, financial aspects are also playing a vital role to have this consistency. Uh, anyways, uh, Siegfried knows those elements uh, very well uh, What I'm when I'm saying the financial aspects. So it is not easy to uh, have this continuity back in our country. Okay. But... Uh, Yes, it has different uh, impact and main thing I would say the uh, continuity or consistency of the process is the main key wherever and how, however you want to work. Okay. Sandeep, I uh, hope you can hear me and uh, you've been listening to this conversation. Kai Zaman is making quite a few interesting points. Just take over uh, for a while uh, on this chatter and if you want to interact with them directly. 
No, I just uh, got only a question for Tahir. I've, I've covered the 90 and the 94 World Cups and I, I, this is my personal, I don't know if Eichmann and Harinder Billy, probably one of the best Pakistan teams overall I saw in 94. But when you talk about a process, uh, isn't it very open for the Pakistan Hockey Federation also to be able to understand that this is the requirement that the process needs to go in this way? So, do you think things could have been ex extremely different, uh, completely in a different way if after 94 uh, the process would have been carried on with Joritsma and all of that? Tahir, that was for you. Sandeep, if you heard Sandeep, he wants your reaction uh, on, on the process that why wasn't it uh, carried forward the way it should have been if there were any further difficulties? Yeah, I think we, we have some uh, uh, domestic reasons behind that. And uh, to be honest, keep changing in the federation on top uh, positions and keep changing the coaches. Uh, trying out different uh, a style or philosophy of, uh, I mean, different uh, uh, school of thought uh, uh, people carrying. Uh, that is, I think that was the main reason. And uh, when I'm saying consistency, it, so it has to be a proper plan, no matter who is coming into the federation, taking the place on top, but the process or the plan which you have already uh, designed and uh, uh, which is already in execution mode for like four years, six years, eight years. That is what it needs to carry on. So if every, with a change of anyone in the top position or with the change of the coach, if you keep changing your uh, plan as well, whatever it is, uh, that is not going to work actually. That's what I meant to say. Uh, that went wrong with the process. The keep changing people in top positions and also uh, I would say uh, in coaching position as well. So, I mean, end of the day, players are, they are having one mind. You see, how long they can sustain this pressure. One day I am coaching them and after six months, Siegfried coaching them and next six months or one year, Harry is coming there to coach them. They have to change their self. They need to adopt the f new philosophy every time. So, it is not easy. And same uh, with the Federation administrative perspective. So, we need to learn from our mistakes. Uh, I, I'm, I hope that we will be able to do so. Sigi, you're smiling. Would you like to react to that? Tahir is right, but uh, they need a long-term strategic plan. And in India, they managed to have that strategic plan and they had Batra, who was uh, owner of that strategic plan. And I think he did a fantastic job. And that job brought India where it's now. And he was consistent. So consistency is important. And uh, yes, there are other circumstances, but I think those are circumstantial circumstances, uh, things you we mentioned. First, you have a strategy and stay with, put with it. And that's not happening. I think that uh, at, in 1994, uh, Pakistan had their strongest team. And after that period, it became gradually uh, less. And that has to do with uh, not only uh, the structure in Pakistan, but also the fact that world hockey changed a lot in that period. It became more and more professional. In the past, India and Pakistan were the professional countries. Now, hockey is played in many countries professionally and has a professional approach, a more scientific approach. And that change, that's where Pakistan missed the boat. And uh, we can talk long about it, but I think if with a good coaching structure, uh, more scientific approach, uh, it would be possible to be back on track. And that's, for me, a key point. Arindar, um, I was uh, reading an interview of yours where you uh, laid emphasis on a couple of points which are very interesting. One is professionalism, the second is money, and the third is maximum exposure. So you are now currently in LA coaching the, the, the American men's team. Obviously, uh, we would like you to share that experience. But first of all, when you're talking about professionalism, money, and maximum exposure, does it have to be in equal form or you feel... One of the two is more important. So uh, I'll divide the, your question in two parts. Uh, I think you have really touched the very important points of the 
if you talk about the high performance team yeah, it's yeah, a very yeah, expensive yeah, perspective yeah, 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 yeah. you cannot run anything and you cannot plan if you don't have the uh, financial uh, i think the back and the one thing what i totally agree with the sid fred the today indian hockey is doing good and uh, from the uh, number 13 we are number 4 and uh, the reason behind that the only one man so mr batra i think the way he uh, carry out after 2009 the team and also pro- provide the teams which need and what you need you need the vision planning execution and follow by the result that's a process and i think that's a blueprint he has uh, made after 2010 world cup and that's where the indian team indian team is the one of the best team uh, facility wise if you ask me one of the best team i am in the usa i i, I am seeing the uh, holland germany player i am talking about the financial security of the player i think the indian player are far far better than any player in the world in terms of the financial uh, things and also we should not forget the kind of uh, urisha government the uh, government of india and the hockey india is planning for not only for the senior team also the process in that process under 18 under 21 and giving the exposure how much you train but if you don't give the exposure you don't give the experience how this player and the coach going to test i think this this things in the very much in plan in indian hockey and i'll give like i totally agree with her secret this credit goes to only one man so and that's mr batra and i think that's follow on now the current uh, setup also they are following the same bl- blueprint what he has established in 2010 and also uh, let's accept it we have changed so many coaches but we never change our structure if you see that we are playing the same structure minor here and there some uh, um, adjustment this coach is uh, doing the great job if you ask me and i think he is just uh, only emphasizing few things on the defensive part which is important for the indian team if they want to get the olympic and world cup medal and um, harinder where it, when it comes to the uh, your american experience there coaching uh, obviously the nucleus of a young side how has it been in a nutshell and uh, what is the team composition like so uh, uh, see the uh, usa uh, most of the players they are playing in the europe they have we have that 11 11 or 13 players those who are in europe they play in the european circuit and the few players are left in in uh, usa i'm talking about the senior team so we train twice a week or maybe once a week or maybe once a month also because here the balance between the education and the sports and also the job and uh, sports is a hard to balance uh, usa hockey uh, federation they are really doing a great job by uh, providing the maximum resources i think the whatever that we have but if you compare with the uh, india i still is a too far because uh, uh, in usa is always designated as a women's sports so getting the men sports in the all that this thing is still hard but i think the i am very happy the way the management is working and also the top uh, uh, people who is holding on the top to provide the resources i think they are doing the best job and that's one of the thing is good for the co- so they he know that the top people are working our vision and we are slowly improving that's a good things and uh, uh, from the 27 uh, um, grassroots level under 21 now we have reached more than 150 kids so that's also i am spreading the grassroots level in the wide range and we have set up the four or five hype uh, um, center so i think the coming years or the few years we have the more players to who can be desired to represent the us Sandeep, over to you. Uh, and, uh, okay, may I pop in a question for Arunder? Yeah. Please, please, please. Yeah, Arunder. I mean, you were part of the Hockey India League when it started off, and I think it gave a massive push to the Indian team at that time. I mean, you can you you can have so many interviews with so many players who always said that you know playing with these uh, uh, European players who came into the HIL actually made them realize they were as good, if not better. The HIL is going to come back in 2024. I think today there was a press conference in which, in which FIH president also said that he's looking forward to the uh, HIL in 2024. Do you think that if the Hockey India League comes back now, it's going to give us that much cushion of another 10 years of good juniors coming through the ranks of players playing with these good players from outside? Do you think the 2024 edition will be much bigger and better and good for Indian hockey? 
I think uh, that's a uh, demand of the modern hockey, especially for HIL. It's not give the stability of the financial for the Indian players. I think that uh, even the Europeans and the, across the globe also. That's I think the best thing is going to happen. And for that, I really like to congratulate the current team uh, management. They are pushing hard to get the 2024 the HIL. I, it's a very good news you have uh, shared with us. And also, we should not forget whatever the 2016 the my uh, success in the with the junior this thing. That's because of the my entire junior team they played uh, in the HIL, and that's give a lot of experience with the holding the last moment uh, decision making, uh, playing with a different structure. So I think that it will not give only the Indian hockey but the senior team. It also give the the uh, grassroots level they can desire to play the hockey. There is more player you can see the picking the hockey and uh, become a professional because the hockey India give the financial stability and which is the one of the things the Pakistani and hockey players uh, and Indian players they always look the financial stability and at once they know that there is a financial stability in hockey definitely we have the uh, grow in the larger group we'll go in the masses and from masses you can get the classes so I think this is a very good news for the junior under 18 and the senior team and also the global global hockey. good news for Tahir and Eichmann and Harinder. I mean, basically, to be, be, between the relationships uh, in terms of hockey between India and Pakistan, when the Secretary of the Hockey India today said, Bholanath, uh, that uh, the test series is going to be resumed once again. So the junior Pakistan side and the junior Indian side and the senior sides are going to be going on this test series. Nobody actually uh, has said about where will the test series be, be held, but Looking at the point that the, that the Pakistan team is here for the Asian Champions Trophy, actually one doesn't see an issue in having a test series between both the sides. And if this comes across, then I think it will be good in, in, in so many terms for both the nations. Uh, I, would, I would understand Tahir would probably have something to say about having the relationship between India and Pakistan in hockey starting off once again. Kai, would you like? Yes. Uh, would you? Uh, I'll just repeat what Sandeep said. He wants. Uh, he basically said that today one of the Indian hockey officials said that, in fact, announced that a test series will be resumed soon between India and Pakistan for both the seniors and the juniors, and which would be a very good thing. So, what are your views on it, and uh, specifically, uh, what would the venue be, knowing the current tensions between the two countries and? What it has taken to get Pakistan here for the ODI World Cup, we are all aware of that. But what are your thoughts? I think it is it is a great news for the hockey lovers uh, back in Pakistan, even in India, and not not in uh, even in in this subcontinent. Globally, uh, everyone is uh, everyone would be very happy hearing this news. It should be resumed definitely. Whether we played bilateral series India and Pakistan, even if we choose any neutral venue to play these uh, uh, test matches between Pakistan and India, senior level or junior level, that is very very essential for global hockey. I would say. Uh, still, I mean, being in uh, uh, 2023, uh, we are talking about scientific approach, modern hockey, total hockey. Still. Uh, the war, uh, the war uh, moves, uh, movements are usually when uh, any individual is showing their individual brilliance, uh, skill brilliance. And uh, I can uh, say so. I mean, now the many European players, they have developed their individual skills, but still the Pakistan Indian players, the kind of flavor in their individual brilliance they are having, it is uh, really uh, fascinating the spectators when they are actually displaying their individual skills. So, uh, world deserve to uh, watch this fantastic Asian style of hockey, and I think both of the countries they should work as much as uh, uh, closely or strongly, uh, uh, and I would say uh, uh, whatever it is needed. But we we should make sure that Pakistan India Test series are going to be resumed, and we are playing a bilateral series, whether senior level or junior level. I'm very happy to hear that that Sandeep Mishra shared this news with me. And hopefully, it will be uh, it will be going to be done soon in future, inshallah. Sandeep, continue, please. Uh, 
Now, just coming back to the match, I, uh, I think uh, if I ask Bhaskar and, you know, basically, uh, who are the players that they pick for this particular encounter? That's just about an hour away. So, I think uh, my first choice in this would be Harinder. If he could pick those three players that are going to be crucial today and who probably will be crucial from the point of view that we are going to be playing Pakistan, which is going to be an emotional match in so many ways. So, which are those three players that uh, Harinder, you feel are going to be extremely crucial in today's game? For me, the Harman Preet, the Manpreet and the Hardik. They are the crucial because they are the uh, uh, Manpreet and uh, Hardik is a uh, supplier, machine supplier. Uh, Harman Preet has to hold his nerves. He should not focus more on that attack. And he knows that when the time comes, he can score in any given time. He's one of the best drag flicker in the world. And that's a, a, he needs the services when he needs to. So he should not get tired unnecessarily running here and there. He should be fresh whenever he's taking the PC. And that's where that uh, uh, opening of the Pakistani gate, I think. That's a, a Harman will play the crucial role. Manpreet and Hardik will be the crucial for the attacking part of that. Tahir, uh, if I may ask you, do you think Umar Bhutta in that crucial position which he now holds in the midfield, is he going to be hugely influential today? And also, how crucial is going to be Sufyan for Pakistan? I mean, he has been in, in quite a top form in terms of his species. Oh, yeah, I think uh, Umar Bhutta is doing well. I, I do agree with you. He has to play a leading role as a captain as well. And beside that, goalkeeping is going to be crucial. I hope that Akmal will be in his best, uh, having best day today. And beside that, I would say uh, Hanan Shahid uh, is going to be vital in uh, uh, front line. Uh, he he is uh, he is the he is the player with lots of uh, individual uh, brilliance. I would say uh, sometimes sometimes he do things which which we don't expect from any players. So, I, I, I think these three players are going to play the vital role from Pakistan side. I do agree with Harinder. I think also Abhishek from India side, beside uh, those three names, is also going to play a very vital role. But he's not in the team. <laughs> he's not in the team? Yeah. All right. I don't know that. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> then, then you're right, Harry. But, but I just, just wanted to come back to you. Overall, to be honest, plenty corner defense and counter control yeah. to deal with the counter attacks. That is where Pakistan should be focused. I just wanted to come back to Harinder. Harinder Surinder has not been in the team in this and the last tournament. He didn't go to Spain. And of course, you've been working so closely with Surinder over the years. And I still remember 2018 quarterfinal against uh, Holland. We lost that game, but he was the man of the match. Do you think he can still make a comeback? Do you feel that in Craig's system, in Craig's structure, uh, a player like Surinder, who might appear slow, but is defensively very, very solid, will find a comeback? Uh, I think that the question you have put uh, is always the uh, uh Coach has to ask, but if you ask me, Surrender is a definitely is a one of the solid defense India has ever produced last, uh, I think, the eight or nine years. It was a solid, but I don't know. After 2018, I, I also discussed with him also. He has developed when the any team is slapping the ball and the, uh, crossing on the run. After receiving, he used to give a lot of uh, plenty corner for opponents. And that's a crucial moment if you see the number of plenty corner he considered after receiving the ball. And I think there, there he has to improve if he really want to be that. A lot of teams, there is no much traffic in the circle. It's always the three strikers and the rest are floating outside the circle. And that's a, one of the strategies the new things has come. And if you are under pressure and after receiving, you start giving the PC, then the team will be always in the back foot. And that's where I think that's when they lost his uh, touch and where uh, it makes the difficult for the coaches to pick. But I still feel he's a, one of the solid defense. He has. He's the only player on Manpreet has a long hit. They can uh, transfer the ball from 40 to 60 yards. He can hit, he can slap, also he can play in any position. So he's a solid defender, very work ethics and workload is so high. He always and the team player. I, I support for him. Mm -hmm. Looking at this match, you've also gone through the emotional uh, upheaval of a Pakistan-India game. 
is this a penalty corner deciding match or this is something where you feel the center forwards are going to play a larger role i know the center forwards assist in giving those pieces but will this be driven by penalty corners or would you think that this will be driven by center forwards today in the game with three goals is question for me aikman I think it will be the forwards. I think it's if you look at it, and if you look at uh, when uh, the last results, Mandit was uh, he, he starts scoring again, and that's important. I think he is also a key player for India. If he is in good shape, he always scores, and if he scores, India performs. And I think that the uh, same is for Pakistan with Hanan. Hanan. is a remarkable player and is a great talent and so i think that the forwards might be decisive if it's the panty corner they both have a, a good corner the defensive structure from india is a little bit better but pakistan did also well with their defensive structure so i think that uh, the attackers and the experience of the attackers will be key today can they hold their nerves and those who can hold their nerves will be most successful Yeah, Rohit, yes. over to you. Okay, uh, Tahir, uh, from you, uh, one would like to understand uh, the the larger strategy of uh, the the beauty of Asian hockey, which you mentioned a while ago. And uh, I was speaking to Sandeep before he left for Chennai, so he was saying in a he was a bit sad that you know the beauty of Asian hockey is getting lost. Those uh, the tactics, the dribble, uh, what you, what made it so attractive. Um, uh, for for viewers here in the subcontinent that seems to have got lost more and more and there's too much of a pre planning coming in can there be something in between or is it uh, is is it a lost art well uh, your voice was breaking if i understood properly you are talking about the uh, Asian style, Asian style hockey in compa comparison with the nowadays modern hockey. Correct, yeah. correct. Please go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. I think to be to be very honest, uh, when we jump into this professional coaching thing, uh, let me confess here, we were also uh, too much towards the European style of coaching because it was new learning for us when we started in FIH courses and other things. When we had more interaction with the European coaches. and we start following more of the european type of things and we forget about uh, con uh, continuity i mean if we forget uh, we we forget about continuing our work on our strong sides uh, which is some of these very special asian skills i would say hitting on the usually we say right foot or wrong foot i would say it is a asian style skill and also pushing on the run on your right foot or usually we say wrong foot and use of fake body actions in your one versus one eliminations we 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 caught into too much of european style and these things were ignored we did not work on these things very properly to be very honest i think it that was some we we missed that part it still i have to uh, uh, realize myself after uh, so many years that that was mistake uh, from our side Uh, those were our strong point and it needs to continue working on those things beside all learning all those all these modern skills uh, no there is hockey and uh, so like hitting one of the very essential thing is hitting hitting used to be a very very strong powerful uh, tool of asian style of hockey but we we ran behind slap shot sweep shot whatever it is and we stop working on hitting so i think now this uh, i have seen already we have discussed this too many times uh, with sigfried as well um, in many workshops uh, we have to go back to uh, develop the hitting aspects of our players and we see uh, still hitting is the a uh, very powerful tool whether it is a passing whether you are using for power passes whether you are using for uh, goal scoring so forehand uh, hitting is the very very essential thing a uh, an asian style of hockey i would say which needs to uh, continuously worked out 
uh, same as I said, few of uh, uh, right foot push, whatever we can say, and elimination with the fake body actions, a typical Indian style of dribbling. I think those areas where we need to uh, uh, develop our youngsters, these are the essential things which we have to coach our uh, youth in, back in India and okay. Pakistan. Those are very special Asian skills. And beside all those European style of play, whatever we can learn them. Tarzama, before uh, we wind up this show uh, and go and watch the match, I would like uh, you to tell us any anecdote, any moment um, that you remember as a thrilling moment in an India-Pakistan encounter that you may have experienced in the past. Well, I would say 89-89 Asia Cup. I think uh, that time Indian team was favourite uh, back in Delhi. Uh, but we beat them in the final. Uh, that was a very uh, critical one. Uh, has uh, very good memories. Uh, okay. And I would say, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that Pakistan uh, team should be uh, able to repeat something like that, although they are not favoured today. Okay. Arindar, over to you. Any anecdote uh, that you remember of this kind? Oh, yes, I, I remember that uh, 2004 Junior Asia Cup in Karachi, the full stadium. It was the Friday, 30th uh, April. I was told Pakistan is going to score four goals. Uh, when we were entering in the pitch, and I have a confrontation with the, uh, my counterpart, Pakistan coach, and then I call up my player. I said, if you score less than five goals, I'll make you everyone roll in front of the uh, entire public. So better you score five goals and win this match. We luckily we score five goals, and the three goals we scored by Tushar Khandekar. Those who are not in the team in the last moment because of my request, we uh, uh, included in the team. So that's a, always the dream for me. What I ask for the players, they deliver, and that deliver within the time frame. So that match is always close to my heart. Okay, that's wonderful to hear and um, I need to wrap this up now because the match uh, is around the corner and good luck to both the sides and a very big thank you to Sigi Eichmann, to Tahir Zama, to Harinder and to Sandeep uh, for joining us with their expert comments and we'll be back with much more after the match gets over. So, goodbye and good luck. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Arun. Thank you, Sigi. Thank goodbye. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Thank you, Harry. Thank you, Sigi. Good to Bye. see you guys. Thank you, Sandeep Ji. Bye. Bye.